Pancreatic cancer often doesn't show itself until it's spread past the point of treatment. That's why doctors across the country, including experts at Nebraska Medicine and UNMC, are working to find ways to detect it earlier. And for some patients, like a Nebraska man we met, diabetes may be a key factor. When you have to face your mortality, it's a bear. Lester Shaw knows all about pancreatic cancer. He lost his wife in 2014, but he's not here to share her story. I wouldn't have went if it wouldn't been for my daughter. She keeps, she kept hounding me and said, you're losing too much weight. I never thought that both parents would get the same cancer. I don't know what's worse, losing a loved one unexpectedly or knowing that it's coming and there's nothing you can do about it. Because you do get those extra moments, but they're bittersweet. But Lester will have surgery. His pancreatic cancer was caught early because after seeing some atypical diabetes results, his doctor ordered a CAT scan. I would say that's not standard, and I think it's actually really sharp on the part of his primary care doctor. Dr. Kelsey Clutie is a medical oncologist. Nebraska Medicine and health centers all over the country are collecting blood samples from people who are considered to have a higher risk of developing pancreatic cancer. One thing they're interested in, diabetes and how it relates to the cancer. We know that about 70% of people who get a diagnosis of pancreas cancer have some degree of diabetes. Clutie says diabetes that arises because of pancreatic cancer is different than typical type 2 diabetes. It seems to come on rapidly, and people may be losing weight at the same time. Understanding this better could lead to catching it sooner. If you could identify people with new onset diabetes who have diabetes, possibly because of pancreas cancer, if you had a good screening test for those patients, that's probably the biggest opportunity to find this cancer early. If we can get an early detection for people, you know, it would help save people from going through what our family has gone through. And just, it's heart-wrenching to watch someone that you love go through that. The pain is just indescribable. Lester's daughter Kylie is already enrolled in the pancreatic cancer study and has taken part in fundraisers. She lost her mom to this devastating disease. As her dad gets closer to having surgery this winter, she has these hopes for him and their family. Most of all, survival. You know, you can deal with the side effects as long as you know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Kylie says if you ever feel uneasy about your health, get a second opinion. I know you're probably wondering about a link since both a husband and wife got it. The why is still not known. If you have a family history or new onset diabetes, as well as other factors, you may be eligible to take part in the study. We have information right now on 3newsnow.com.